lot has happened since we last spoke. Wait, wait, follow me, follow me. Start the vlog on the roof, why not? So, the plan was, very simple plan, ferry from Bahul to Cebu, a day before our flight from Cebu to where we are now. Buffer zone, we love a buffer zone. What happened was, our good friend Alan, uh, who really kindly lent us the motorbike for our stay in Bahul, he texted us, uh, are you sure that you're actually leaving tomorrow because all the ferries been cancelled today? We asked our hotel and they said, yeah, the ferry's definitely not running tomorrow. So, finally he let us have it for one more day, but it meant that then we, that one day buffer zone had gone. What we ended up doing was booking one more night where we were already staying in Bahul and then the next day we had to wake up early and get straight to the ferry terminal to see if they were running or not because hopefully the departure route would have passed by then, which it had, which is great news. As there were two days worth of cancellations plus the day we were on, there were three loads of people um, wanting to get a ferry back to Cebu because of things like flights like us, uh, I don't know, they, they had a certain time to get back. It was very manic, me queuing to get these tickets and it was everyone was like pushing you out the way and like smacking their things down on the table trying to get a ticket before you uh, but finally we got one at 11.40 our flight to here was at 6 o'clock in the evening so we thought okay two hour ferry 45 minutes to get to the airport we'll be okay however the ferry was then delayed until 2 in the afternoon so we were panicking weren't we by the time it stopped we probably got off the boat about half four and the flight left in an hour and a half we then had a, a taxi ride to the airport full of traffic to Cebu airport and got there probably about quarter past five in the end wasn't it? Checked in, uh, had a problem with something in our bag so I had to run back. We hadn't eaten all day at this point by the way, we were hungry and we literally made the flight with seconds to spare. We wolfed down a Jollibee, had very bad indigestion and then made the flight. So it all worked out well and that brings us to where we are now. This place is probably the most recommended in the comments visited. It's been closed for six months, we'll tell you more about that in a minute. Well not right here. No, not right here. Uh, over, over there. Boracay's over there somewhere. We're going to Boracay. So excited. So we are about to go and get a ferry over to Boracay this morning, but where I am right now, we've stayed at this hotel overnight. That can you see here? This is the runway for Cataclan Airport, and I'm literally on the roof of our building. I'm gonna try and wait for a plane and it's literally gonna come over my head. We also spent this morning replying to a ton of your comments. We are so, so grateful. If you're new to the channel, which I know a load of you are, we just want you to know that we're insanely grateful for all the comments that you leave on our videos. We read all of them and reply to as many as we possibly can. It's one of our favorite things to do. So if you are new, please introduce yourself, leave a comment and please subscribe if you enjoy this video today. But where is this plane? Here it comes. Oh my God, it's actually like it's coming towards me. But no, no, the runway's there. Plane, the runway's there, not here. Yeah. That was crazy, it felt like it was coming towards us. It was so loud. Right, now we can start our day. Okay, we're at the ferry port, just got a lift here. Before we get on the ferry though, we need food. We're gonna check out somewhere that you guys have been telling us to go in the comments for ages, and we've just spotted one here, so we're like, perfect opportunity. We're hungry, we need some chicken. But we're not gonna show you that in this video because we wanna, as always, dedicate our separate food videos to separate videos. So we will see you on the ferry when we've got full bellies. Oh, it's bright, just get me my sunglasses. Right, lunch was a success, and we're heading over now to the jetty to get um, a boat over to Boracay, I think, from what our hotel said, they pretty much go all the time, so we shouldn't have a problem sort of getting here. Uh, should we go this way? Maybe. Uh, we actually got here last night, so we're somewhere called Calibo. We flew in last night, but as we got here too late to get a ferry, um, we stayed one night here in a like, quite nice hotel down the road. The plan is to show you guys the first reaction to, wow, it's busy. We didn't get here before it was closed, um, so we have never, obviously we haven't seen them before, um, but it's meant to be very different now. Uh, a lot cleaner, but obviously a lot less going on because they're still like doing a lot of building and stuff apparently. Yeah, we're excited. So Lucy nearly made us not be able to get onto the island. Stop. The security said, have you got a booking reservation here? She's like, no, not yet. Need to I book thought it. you said a booking for the ferry. Lucy thought they meant the ferry, they meant the hotels because there's only a set list at the moment. They reopened like week, only a few weeks ago. And there's a approved list that was bought out of which hotels can operate and stuff. So we've had to pick a hotel off that list. And that's what she was asking. Oops. <laughs> but we're all good. So I've been stamped. 
I'm allowed in. As the account that we booked the hotel in is under George's name, he's got to go over there and fill all the bits out. But um, as I'm just like a guest, I could stand over here because it's kind of it's really busy actually, like loads of people. And I think there's now like a limit. Uh, I think it's a, I might have been making this up. I think it's 19,000 tourists at one time, but that could be totally wrong. It probably is. But I think it's literally like a 10-minute ferry ride, uh, and then we're over there. But I just can't believe how many people are here. Like considering it's only just reopened, it's crazy. Just about got through, had to fill out all, but we're all good. Yeah, got the stamp. Good. And then we pay over here for the ferry. Cool. So if you're thinking of visiting Boracay for the first time, or maybe you've been before, and you want to know what it's like since they reopened it, getting onto the island, we can only go on by our experience just now because it's our first time. Yeah. But we basically had to verify as tourists. There's only a certain number of tourists allowed onto the island at one time. I think it's 19,000. I just said that, but I might yeah. be wrong. I think it's seven. I read 17,000. It's around that number anyway. They basically need to see your hotel booking confirmation, your passport to make sure you're allowed on, allowed in the country in the first place. They then give you a stamp once you yep. pass those checks and then you pay for the ferry here. Wow, is that how cheap it is? Yeah, so you pay the terminal the Okay, so it's 25 pesos for the boat, 100 peso terminal fee, so the terminal fee is actually more expensive than the boat, so. Oh, and an environmental fee of 175, so quick maths. Of 75, not 175. That is 200. Well done. Pesos <laughs> to get on the boat, which is like three pounds. We really haven't planned anything whilst being here because obviously, having been shut, um, I've heard a lot of the things that used to be open here and like activities and things are no longer running because of how like touristy it was before and how like all that partying and stuff and loads of bars and things I think have been closed because of that to try and keep it a bit more peaceful. Um, so to be honest, everything online is from before now, like like before we're actually shut in the first place. We're not sure what to expect in terms of what to do, where to eat, what to see, um, but all we do know is that White Beach. It, which is about a five minute walk away from where we're staying uh, has is on the list of like the top beaches in the world so it's and meant to be beautiful over the next few days we're going to find all this out and we're going to be able to tell you guys in these daily videos exactly if you're thinking of visiting hopefully these videos will help you out yeah and um, we know Lost LeBlanc came recently uh, and filmed a video on it but we've on purposely not watched that because we love experiencing somewhere new not knowing what to expect and I'm pretty sure he'd have done a pretty good job at showing uh, showing around what to expect and stuff so we've kind of on purposely held off from watching that video so we can make our own judgments and kind of experience it brand new for the first time. Wow, it looks amazing. Oh and I don't know how it's possible, but that 10 minute ferry journey, the colour of the water went from like an average blue to like yeah. the most amazing colour. It's like they diet for the tourists. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, wow. Looks great. Wait, I don't think it rained here. Wait, <laughs> we come to the most 
paradise-like location in the Philippines and it rains. That's inconsiderate of the weather, no. isn't it? Literally, we just got to our hotel room. We were going to do a quick room tour and go and get some food along the beach, but now it started tipping it down, so we're deciding whether we should go out now uh, and brave the rain or maybe wait until it holds out later, but we're not sure yet. But this is where we're staying. Look how colourful it is. It's very colourful. And ours is green. I, I like this green colour. It's my favourite colour. We've also been chatting to a another YouTube couple, a yeah. channel called Making It Happen Vlog. They're in the Philippines right now, they're travel vloggers, and we've been chatting to them. We, we're hopefully going to meet up and, and film together. Yeah. It's that so would weird, be really like, cool. I feel like a lot of people have been to these places, but we've never been there at the same time as them. But then, like, we saw on their Instagram story earlier that they're here, yeah. and it's where we are. Yeah, uh, it was really weird. It's a huge island, so it's We nice sent them a message because you guys had suggested their channel and suggested that we. Um, get in touch with them and at the same time we read that message we got a message from them Onto saying saying their viewers had suggested that we yeah. that they get in touch with us so it's so crazy funny, yeah. so it's meant to happen and it hopefully will happen and but it's making it happen meant to happen oh yeah true so. um, but i'm guessing they're not going to want to go out in this weather either so because it's raining i guess all there is left to do at the moment is give you one of these This is our balcony area where we have breakfast served every morning. The aircon's almost too good in here, it's absolutely freezing, but I'm not complaining. Mirror, TV, fan, aircon, photos, table, bin. This here is my favourite part. Why? We have our own kitchen and a safe on the wall. A uh, very white bathroom. Very white. Oh, and show them what we thought we had, but we don't. Upstairs room. So there is a staircase right next to our bed, which is right next to the outdoors. But you go up here, we'll show you. It'd be cool if we like got to know them. Ready? I mean we could just knock. Hello. And then the bed. Which is comfy by the way. It's nice soft blanket. Yeah, this blanket is luxurious. And that concludes the Juicy Vlog Room Tour. Let's go get some food because I'm absolutely starving. But before we do that, I'm going to interrupt this vlog to address something that's been going on in the comments recently. Um, apparently, people have been thinking that I have been saying thank you to people in Chinese. <laughs> Um, when it's happened I, like a good 10 times. Just to clear this up, I'm fully aware I'm in the Philippines. I'm not saying thank you in Chinese. Chinese thank you in Chinese is zizi. And what people have been mishearing, misunderstanding me say, is see you soon. See you soon. I've been saying see you soon when we've been saying goodbye to people um, and leaving, play, leaving hotels. So I go, thank you, see you soon. See you soon. Because I say it quickly, it sounds like zizi, but don't worry, I'm not saying thank you in Chinese. I know that thank you here is salamat. We're all good, just to clear that up. Right, now we can get food. Okay, it's sort of raining, we're taking a chance and we're gonna break. Wait, what's up? Really anything is it? We're gonna go and see a really nice beach. <laughs> beach, this way. This is amazing. Wow, we've just walked literally down that rough looking path that hopefully they can spend a bit of the money doing that path. But wow, like this beach is huge. This is cool, man. Look, it's okay. We'll show you this properly, but honestly, first impressions ridiculous, amazing. I mean, it's like, packed, really nice. it's busy here already. Like, everyone seems to have come. There's people playing frisbee, it's like really, really, really busy. Wow, but look Actually, at the mountains. Wait, I've only just clocked how many people are here. Yeah, this is that's so busy. This is amazing. astonishing. Wow, this is incredible. We're you gonna can see why it was from the rest. Like, you've got the lovely water, okay, it's kind of like cloudy and it's making it look really cool, I think, with the mountains and stuff. But like yep. really nice water, obviously white sand, white sand beach, and then these palm trees make it for me. Have you seen these? This do a is, oh yeah, do a little. Look at oh, look at the colour of the sky. Look at the palm trees. That is insane. So to show you the scale, the palm trees are stunning. They go all the way down there. This is crazy. We're like we're like used to being on beaches at this point. This isn't like a new level of beach. But we're yeah. like both like we're both like wow. Amazing. Well, only, I think only because I didn't expect it to like be right there. Like we walked down this little alleyway and then it's just like, oh right, okay. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> wow. But it goes, I mean, let me, if I zoom here, you can see the amount of people on this beach. This isn't a quiet spot, but there's tons of people that way. And also tons of people that way, including Lucy. So amazing. Really cool. We were having a chat with the um, guys that took us on the bikes down here and um, they said that the government has invested 2 billion pesos to regenerate, sort of redo this place and make it a lot cleaner and there's a lot of like e-buses and e-bikes and things now and it's a lot more sort of um a lot more like nature friendly i suppose isn't it i think there's like no straws and things here as well they're really like clean on like one use plastics and stuff like 
like that, but it's honestly, I don't know what it looked like before, so I can't say like it looks better than before. Well, apparently it was worse. Apparently there was like sewage and just trash just like on the beach. Yeah, it's like immaculate, really, really clean. One thing we will say is that as we were going through, well, nearly, nearly caught Frisbee, as we were going through the center, the town on the motorbikes, the place is nowhere near done like it's fully 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 under construction like every like there wasn't a bit of road where there wasn't road work going on and the roads were very like rough because of it and obviously unfinished but i don't know i feel like surely the fact that tourists and like loads of taxis and stuff and bikes are going through the road because it's been reopened that's going to be slowing them down possibly a bit. so maybe they should have like, like, like waited longer. they reckon it's going to be done by june next year completely done june yeah. next year so perfect for summer summer in the uk anyway i mean summer here is just starting now but for us it doesn't matter because we travel all the time and we're we're in different places we're moving around it's cool for us to say that we were here when it was all all happening all yeah. back up and coming it's under construction in history, maybe. yeah it's a moment in time that yeah. we've got to experience but if you're someone who takes one or two holidays a year and it's your only two weeks abroad I don't know maybe you want maybe you want to wait un but, until next year when it's completely done and then you're not just going to be on holiday on like a construction site but that's only that way this way and onwards amazing if you just want to come to yeah, the beach then get if you're literally now. just coming to the beach but be prepared for it to be absolutely packed because this is crazy i've, I've never known a beach i don't so think busy. i've seen a busy a busy a, bu a, bu a beach this busy ever. It's not, Maybe that's part of the reopening, they put like ice blocks in it to cool you down a bit more. <laughs> it's not super hot today. I can't get over how many people are on this beach. It's mad. What time is it? Like five o'clock? Half four? Something like that. And it's so busy. It's mad. It's, almost, I don't know, it's crazy. We were just talking though, like, I don't know if you guys know the answer to this, so comment below if you do, but I don't know what happens to the people that have like businesses here for tourists, so like, like the boat people that do the island hopping tours, the hotels, the restaurants. Obviously, like restaurants may get some business because the locals still live here, but compared to how it would have been before and having to shut their businesses for six months, I don't know if they were given any money from the government or something. I have no idea, but it must have been quite, been quite a big hit for them finding out that they couldn't do any business for six months because you can see how busy it is now in one day and how much money they must be bringing in then. But over six months, that's a long time, yeah. isn't it? Comment below if you know the answer because we're interested. And also comment below if you came here before the re yeah. rejuvenation and, <laughs> and let us know if you think just from this video if it looks any different obviously we'll be showing you around a bit more over the next few days i think we've got four days here haven't we so yeah we'll be able to show you guys as much as we can in the island but uh first impressions right three words i want to give you three word first impression all right yeah number one beautiful yeah number two busier than i thought i know that's three words <laughs> and four. Oh yeah. And number three, not finished. We need to find some food now. We usually use TripAdvisor for um, finding like the best place and stuff. But I guess if it's only, no thank you. I guess, I guess all the TripAdvisor reviews, I mean, they'll obviously still be there from the past, but I guess a lot of businesses have to kind of start again. Yeah, and it will be like whether they're allowed to reopen. I think the same as hotels, they have to like have a certain checklist to make sure they're all doing things how the, yeah. the government here wants them to. Um, they so have I don't to know. got play by the rules basically. Yeah. So here's a place that is obviously still under construction, but looks like it's going to be pretty nice. They've got the best spot. I bet I bet that's a pool up there. We've gone for burritos. It looks so good. We've missed this kind of food. And we also got some nachos, which we have demolished, demolished already. View of the beach. Love a nacho. Good food. Cheers. Life is good. Cheers. Cheers. 